Hi, and welcome to the tutorial series for the MX200 Digital Readout by MetLogix. In this video, we will be covering how to export measurement data to a USB flash drive. We will also be looking at the process of saving and loading part programs to and from a flash drive from the readout itself. Don't forget to subscribe using the link in the comment section below the video to receive updates about future tutorial videos. You may also find other helpful links in this section on the setup and operation of the MX200 readout. The MX200 readout can export measurement results to a USB thumb drive from the data view in the readout itself. We'll go ahead and access the data view using the menu key and the data view soft key. We'll go ahead and place our 16 gigabyte or less FAT32 formatted USB drive into the back of the readout. To send a CSV or TSV file to the USB flash drive, just press the export menu button and then choose CSV or TSV from soft keys position two or three. Confirmation will be displayed at the top of the screen indicating that your export is complete. Depending on the view that you have selected in the data view, you will receive a export file with the data results organized in the X or Y axis according to the template that's selected. We'll perform a second export from our standard data view. For this example, we'll export a TSV file. Once export is complete, those files can be found at the root location of the USB drive. It is also possible to save and load part programs to the flash drive from the program view menu. We will first access the program view from the extra menu. Once in the program view, simply select and highlight the part program that you would like to export to the USB flash drive. Place the flash drive in the readout and press the Import Export Program button, found here at soft key position 5. From this menu, you can either import a part program from the USB flash drive or export the currently selected program to the flash drive. When importing a part program from the flash drive, you will be prompted to, to define which program number on the drive you would like to import. If no program by that number exists, you will get an error message indicating as such. Thanks for joining.